Hello my beautiful Cancerians, how are you loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies. This is the last week we have in May. A week that starts when you time you view it or from the 24th till the 31st. And of course we are in a beautiful Gemini season, which is a mutable zodiac sign. New connections, new partnerships, better energies around it. Well, let's welcome it. I also want to say thank you for all of you Cancerians who are coming forward. For those of you who are part of this beautiful family, for those of you who are just coming along, don't hesitate to subscribe, like, share it. That will help us to grow and move forward and be known by others as well. And for those of you who are always searching for more about us, all the information we have for you and our contacts are in the description box. That being said, Cancerians, let's see how this week is there for you. As a general reading, take what mostly, mostly connects and speaks to you. Eight of Wands, the Devil, Nine of Swords, and the Star. You know, Cancerians, be aware what you wish for, because you might get it. But is this what you need? Is this what you want for the long run? Or not quite? For some of you, Cancerians, you might be involved physically, not emotionally, with someone. Yes, things great and bad, but when you are out from this person or they are out, does they contact you? Are they there or not? Because something here really speaks of, think about it. Is this something you want for the moment? Or is this something you want for the long run? Because definitely here's something. It's not quite what you want to carry for long run. I feel here you definitely want it. With a page of cups. But with are you willing to invest? Or is that person willing to invest? Let's see, darlings. Queen of Cups. Very much whatever it is here depends on you. And how the things will go are on you. Accept or reject. Nine of Cups. Definitely there is something you, you enjoy. But also there is something here you don't. Five of Swords and Ace of Cups. The Five of Swords here, Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of uh, the Four of Cups, Lovers, Eight of Cups, King of Cups. So what is your choice, loves? What is the choice? Because I feel here someone here might, might try to make someone jealous. And somebody here might feel very bad about it. What's the Nine of Swords here? What's the Nine of Swords? Hierophant. Queen of Wands. Hangman. Man. 
King of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. So somebody here definitely is in a is in a marriage or in, in a connection. And there is someone out there. It's like there is something here that doesn't go anywhere. Or is not meant to go anywhere. And there is someone out there that definitely wants the real thing. Yeah. And somebody here is kept as a friend. But it's actually a twin. We have twin flame energy here. So somebody here is coming definitely with love. But somebody here definitely needs to be honest with themselves. Also, I'm hearing someone here brings the real deal to the table. And somebody might not. What's this Ace of Cups? It's kind of like what I'm hearing. For a period of time, things have been okay. But can't any longer. Ace of Swords. So we have three Aces loves. Magician. Somebody here is is definitely telling you the truth, how they feel about you. I feel here there is a confession. Somebody here definitely loves you. Definitely wants to be with you. One more card here next to the Magician. Seven of Swords. Somebody here definitely knows what is going on. And they want you to be on the same page as they are. Or to realize that something here is not doing or is not going to go for the long run. Because things are going to move. How about you? Queen of Cups, speak to me. Queen of Cups, speak to me. World. Something here definitely will gonna go or need to gonna go. The Emperor. Three of Swords. Somebody here hurts. Or feel the hurts. Four of Pentacles. But quite hesitant. For some of you, it's just kind of, I don't want to hurt that person. It's like I, I'm not passionate about them. Or I don't see any passion. But I love them. You know, sometimes you could love a person, but you, you're not attracted or something like that. That's what comes like, I love them, I care about them, but I'm not attracted to them, I'm attracted to you, but very hesitant to, to take that leap of faith. Somebody here doesn't want to throw away a situation or feel that I can't do it now. But there is something new and something will blow away. It's kind of when you least expect it, certain things here will change dramatically. What's the advice here for you, Lance?
a decision, putting effort into something new, Knight of Swords, Hermit, somebody here can't wait any longer or feel like they can't any longer. And I feel here eventually things will go where the manifestations go. And if you love manifest movement, that's where you're going. There's something here like taking a leap or try. Why not to try? But yes, yeah, somebody here was they were already involved on a physical level with someone. And yes, the marriage or the commitment were not providing that, were felt like not providing that, or were not quite there. And co-create with the spirit is your advice. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Overcome any obstacles. And see the big picture. You know, some people know that earth life is the, the heaviest school of it all and your soul choose to come here to learn something new so learn to live not to survive learn to live for you and yourself enjoy the moment and the present many many times we are living for others or for the the traditions that have been passed by the ancestors or by the ideas or things of others created. Live for yourself and surrender now. And surrender now, this is about live your life, not someone else's life. Yes, certain things are not perfect, but neither we are. And now it's time to understand that. So Cancerians, wishing you a blessed week. And definitely we'll see you next time. Namaste.